Next thing we're to cover is our automatic header eye control. And that's on page uh, 22 in my FD1 book and page 14 in my FD75 book. So my header angle, so that's automatic header eye control. I got this white box in my, on these machines. So there's a picture of my FD1 box, same as an FD2. So this zero to four is my ground pressure. So as my header's lower to the ground, this indicator should move zero to four. So like I was saying down below, when you have your float unlocked, that pointer should go from zero to four. So just to demonstrate what happens in the field, seen this before, your automatic header eye control will not work correctly. So I'm gonna manually lower this header with my float unlocked. And that pointer should go from zero to four. It's not going to even hardly to three. So there's an issue down in that white box. There's either dirt or debris built up in there or the cable is off. And what's gonna happen is, is when you're running in the field and that pointer doesn't go from zero to four or almost to four like it's supposed to, you have an issue with your white box and your automatic header control is not gonna work correctly in the field. Because if it goes to that much pressure, the combine doesn't realize it's at max ground pressure. It's gonna start pushing in the field.